Do you remember that time when you first discovered that GIMP didn't have a shape tool? How disappointing was that? I know, very disappointing. But no worries, today I'm going to show you the secret ingredient for creating shapes in GIMP. If you're ready, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna show you three options for creating shapes in GIMP, and the last one will show you how to add shapes into GIMP in three seconds. It's going to be awesome. All right, so option number one is using a selection tool. Now, before I create my shape, I'm gonna come over here and click on this icon to create a new layer called square. All right, so it looks like it placed that inside of that grouped layer, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. And then I'm gonna come up here and select my rectangle select tool. What I'm going to show you right now for creating a rectangle or a square can be applied to the ellipse tool as well for creating an oval or a perfectly round circle. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag out my shape, which is a rectangle, of course, and then I can fill in that selection to get my shape. But what if you want a perfect square? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and deselect with Command or Control, plus Shift, plus A, and then down here in my tool options, I'm going to click on fixed to create a square. Now, before I do that, once upon a time, you could hold down your shift key and click and drag out a square, but it doesn't seem to be working for me, at least with this version, or maybe I'm using the wrong keyboard shortcut. If you know the answer to this, please enlighten everybody by letting us know which keyboard shortcut it is. I've tried Command, Control, Alt, Option. None of them work for creating a perfect square. So if it's working for you, let me know which keyboard shortcut and what version of GIMP you're using. So let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deselect again. And then in the tool options, I'm gonna click on fixed. And then for the aspect ratio, I'm going to set it to one to one, and then I can create a square. All right, so to fill it in, I'm gonna grab my bucket fill tool right here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is shift plus B. And then I'm going to choose a random color here and fill it in. I'm gonna go ahead and deselect again with command or control plus shift plus A, or you can come up to select and choose none from here and we have our first shape. How cool is that? All right, so option number two for creating a shape is using your path tool and it's perfect for creating odd shapes or custom shapes. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this layer off and create a new layer called Paths Shape. I'm gonna come over here and grab my Paths tool, or I could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter B. Now to create our shape, we're going to create multiple anchor points, and then those points are going to be linked together with a path. So I'm gonna click right here to add my first anchor point, and when I come over here and click again, I get a path between those two anchor points. So I can come over here, click and add another anchor and path, and then over here again. But for this next one, I want to bend the path. So I'm gonna click and drag out to bend it. Now the problem is if I want a straight line and I come over here and click, it ends up curving that path. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that with Command or Control plus the letter Z. And to prevent it from curving your next path, you wanna grab your handle here, click and drag it down inside of that circle right there. Now, when I click right here, I get a straight path again. Now to complete our path, we need to come up to our first anchor point and hold down our control key and click on it to close that path so we can fill it in with a color. Now the other thing you can do is you can click on an anchor point and move it to reshape your, well, your shape. Kind of looks like a boot. All right, I wasn't planning on doing that, but there it is. All right, to fill it in with a color, we first need to convert it from a path to a selection. So in your tool options, you're gonna click on this button right here, selection from path, and now it's a selection. 
and then you can come up here and grab your bucket fill tool and fill it in with a new color. And then you can deselect with Control Shift plus A. The third option for creating shapes is to use pre-made shapes. And I've created over 20 shapes for you to download absolutely free and you do not need an email address to download them. So check out the description below this video for a link to download those 20 plus shapes. Once you download the file, go ahead and unzip it and go inside the folder with the individual shapes. And then you can click on the shape you wanna add into GIMP, drag it over the interface, release your mouse button, and it will be added as a new layer. Now, we can't really see that shape right now because it's much larger than the canvas. And I made all the shapes very large because as you know, in GIMP, we cannot use vector-based layers, which allows us to enlarge that layer without a loss of quality. So if you were to enlarge this particular layer even more, it will become softer or pixelated. So that's why I made these files as large as they are, so you don't have to worry about enlarging them, but you will have to make them smaller to fit inside of your document. So we can make this smaller with our scale tool, which you can grab from your toolbar, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is shift plus S. Now, if you grab it from the toolbar, you'll have to click on the shape in order to activate the tool. If you use the keyboard shortcut, you don't have to do that because it will automatically activate the tool. So I'm gonna come in here and type in 500 for the width, and I'm gonna click the tab key to resize it and it disappears because it moved it off to one side. If we go ahead and grab our zoom tool here and hold down your control key, you can go ahead and zoom out to find it. And here it is right here. Now with my move tool, I can click right here. Actually, I need to come over to tool options and select move the active layer. So I can move that into position. I'm gonna come up to layer and select layer to image size to increase the layer boundary. And then with command or control plus shift and the letter J, I can zoom all the way in and there's our moon shape. All right, so check out that video to your left right there. If you wanna learn how to create a triangle in GIMP, check out that video tutorial next. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.